I'm Taylor Gertz with uh, Mordak Systems and I'm going to show you the data module. So it's a multi-function module. We have um, a bunch of programs you can run. You can choose them all here. Uh, we'll start by looking at the oscilloscope. So it's a four-tunnel oscilloscope. Um, we actually have, um, it's monitoring uh, the one waveform twice. It's actually uh, watching it before and after. Uh, a Borg filter, so you can kind of see it reacting there. Um, yeah, so four channel um, oscilloscope, we have uh, control over your scale, position, AC, DC coupling. Bring that back to five. Um, you have control over your time scales, all the way down to 50 microseconds. And you can get very long in here as well. Get back to here. Actually, I'll bring it back up. And uh, you also have um, cursor uh, functions, so you can actually do pretty fine measurements of your frequencies and voltages in here. Uh, trigger off of any of the four channels so you can uh, kind of calm the waveforms down a little bit and majority oh yeah you can also turn off each of the channels individually and then we also have a spectral analyzer you can see it down here running on the other data um, this is actually a spectrograph so over time you can kind of view hit some notes on here, the keyboard here see that functioning. Um, also the spectral analyzer. See that functioning here. And then beyond uh, its um, uh, analysis programs, we also have some uh, function generators as well. We have a, uh, a clock multiply and divide uh, that will sync to an external clock or generate internal clock. Um, right now we have it syncing to these guys system over here. Um, and then you have control over your division multiplication settings as well as offset. On the clock two here, we actually have um, that, con that under CV control, which we can assign up here any of the four inputs. Um, so right now we have it at like 39%. It's just a very slow LFO. Kind of ratcheting, we can hear it here. Oh. <laughs> you can see your uh, divisions changing on the screen as well. That's that. That's that kind of like um, ratcheting sound that we can hear. The, the kind of almost hi hats. Yeah, thing. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So you're just using an LFO to uh, multiply the clock. Yep. And yeah, with a with a precision voltage choice, it gets pretty fun. You can you can do very interesting rhythms pretty easily. Um, and then uh, we actually have that being controlled by the uh, dual oscillator uh, function of the module. Um, so. Uh, yeah, the bottom uh, guy here is at uh, 0.22 hertz. Um, that's that's what's modulating the clock up here. <clears throat> it's all so it's also a dual oscillator. Um, you can hear that changing here. Um, so over this, you can control over your frequency. You can do that in um, either by frequency or um, by note. We get some very interesting results that way. Um, we also have control over uh, the types. You have just kind of the basic uh, uh, waveforms in there right now, just uh, saw, square, triangle, sign. Um, you also have control over amplitude and uh, offset of those waves. You can actually push it up to 200% amplitude, so you can actually clip your sine waves and get a little bit of uh, 
uh, like wave shaping going on there. So, so it is, it's not just an LFO um, No, yeah, so it's, 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 it's audio, right? Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, yeah, that's a. And you can, and, and you just use the uh, inputs as like a volper octave. Right? Yep, okay. yep, yeah, and you do this assigning just like you would in the clock up here. So uh, you have, and you also have a basic like, control over your um, uh, like a digital PCA in there as well. Uh, so you can set, you can send it an envelope, and it will it will control the sound for you, so you don't have to use an external module. Um, yeah. What I have in here. Oh, you can also offset um, each of the, the waveforms. So when you are kind of using a like as an LFO, you can get to just the voltages that you're you're looking for. Um, also, I should note uh, each of the um, four inputs has a buffered through output, so you're not losing any signal when you when you plug in. So you can monitor your signals, patch them right back out. Um, we also have a uh, SD card on the back that will allow it to continue to be updated. Um, and yeah, we, we just finished our first pre-order um, and we'll be shipping those out very soon. And we'll, hopefully we'll have uh, modules again for, uh, hopefully by summer. Yeah. And uh, what, what will be the price on that? Uh, we're, we're, we started at, at 395 It might go up just a tiny bit after we're getting through with the production. It's, we're still we're still figuring it out, but it's gonna sit around four hundred dollars. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Yep. Cheers.